Hello, my name is Anne Louise Sterry, and I am here to share with you a tip, a tip to help you live a more joyful life. Be Those of you still. who know me know that that's what I'm all about, living an audaciously joyful life, which is not to say I achieve it all the time. I don't think anybody can, but there's some tips and tools that can help you along the way, and this is one I learned a couple of years ago from a counselor. It's called the worry box. Some of us love to worry. Some of us have things to worry about. Some of us just like to worry because it's a national pastime. We think we're doing well if we're worrying. We think, we think we're helping things if we're worrying. In fact, we're not. This counselor also told me, Anne Louise, worry will not keep the wolf away from the door. Now, I didn't like that, but deep in my heart, I knew she was right. But I said, Barbara, I can't stop worrying. So she gave me this technique. You make a worry box. Now you can make it metaphorically or literally. I made it literally. I took a shoe box. I decorated it. And then she said, write your worries on scraps of paper. Put them in the box. Put the top on and keep them there until it's time for your worry date. You make a date with yourself to worry and you decide how many minutes you're going to worry for. You can make a date for once a day, twice a day, three times a day, whatever you feel like you need. My first day, I decided I'd have the date at 5 o'clock. So at 5 o'clock, I sat down with my worry box, I opened the top, and I picked out a worry, and I started worrying. Can I tell you, it's very hard just to worry for 15 minutes. Normally, you might worry and then do the dishes, worry and take a shower, worry and talk to somebody, worry and go to work. But no, with the worry box, you have to just worry for the time you set. I could barely make it to the end of the 15 minutes. And this technique helped me through some really difficult times in my life. So when I would start worrying when I was at work or with the children, I could say to myself, you don't have to do that now. You can do it later when you have your worry date. And that kind of takes the pressure off somehow. I hope you find that useful and you practice it when you're worrying or share it with somebody else you know who has something to worry about and is worrying a lot. You know, I've collected a lot of these tips and tools that I've learned along my path toward audacious joy in this CD set. It's a four CD set and it's called Rewire Your Brain for Audacious Joy. My Aunt Lena is on this CD set. You know her, my alter ego. If you haven't met her, go to my website. You can find her there as well as this CD. My website's www.ann-louise.com. Aunt Lena's on these four CDs. There's music, there's storytelling, and these simple tips and tools that can help you on this path. I have a friend, she's 93. I've known her since I was 40. 20 something years and she listened to this CD set for me because I wanted to know what she thought about it. She has a lot of wisdom, my friend Helen. And she said after she listened, Anne Louise, what you talk about is so ordinary and so simple that everybody can do it. But on the other hand, it's so profound, everyone needs it. And when she said that, it just, my heart just, I don't know, it's hard to say, it just felt good. And I thought, oh my goodness, maybe this will be useful to lots of people, be still. as it has been to me. So please, go to my website, take a look at it. You can be get it still. in this set with the guide, or you can get it as a download, and we'll send you the guide. And then let me know, Breathe in. has it helped? Is it useful? Breathe out. What you thought? Thanks a lot. Till the still. next time, this is Anne Louise Sterry and her alter ego, Camille. When Sterry. you don't have Ciao. time to blink, bellas. Let alone the time to think. Breathe in. Breathe out. Sometimes words are buzzing round But you can't hear a sound
breathe in, breathe out, be still. It seems so simple yet. forget to breathe in breathe out breathe in